Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about bottom-up parsing. In our previous classes, we already discussed about top-down parsing, recursive descent parsing, LL1 and all those things. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, in this class we are going to understand bottom-up parsing, what is the terms handle and reduction means. Before going into bottom-up parsing, let's have a quick refresh of what we have done in our top-down parsing so that you can easily understand the concept. In top-down parsing, this is the example which we use to identify the expressions and we are going to identify whatever method you take. What uh, this is the input we considered a plus b star c whatever method you take it may be ll1 it may be recursive descent parsing uh, we are starting from the start symbol e we are going to expand this e e is expanded as t e dash t is expanded as f f is expanded as id the first id symbol has been identified from the input that is what we are doing we are starting from e and we are going down towards to identify the identifier means the input symbols this is what we have done in top down parsing so the most important points are read input left to right in top down parsing what we have done we have read the input from left to right and we derived from the start symbol this is the start symbol from start symbol we are going to derive that next we are going to generate leftmost derivation tree we keeps on expanding these terms and identifying the leftmost derivation tree that is what we have done in top down parsing coming to bottom up parsing so what's the what it will do here is it will read the input from left to right it is doing the it is going to read the input from left to right but it is going to generate rightmost derivation in reverse how it is going to generate let's try to understand step by step with an example this is the example grammar which we are using to identify the expressions that consist of plus and multiplication symbol e tends to e plus t t these uh, grammar were already discussed in our previous classes that's why we are not concentrating on this grammar t tends to t star f or f f tends to id or bracket e that is the grammar it if you want to identify the input id star id so what's bottom up parsing is going to do it will take the read the input from left to right id has been read id is identified as a See, f tends to id so this id is reduced to f that's why it got the name reducing uh, reduction in bottom up par uh, parsing we are going to reduce the terms check the input and reduce the term to the non terminal that on the left hand side of the production that is what we are going to do See, id is reduced to f f star id this is how next step f is on the left hand side f can be reduced to t that's what happening here f is reduced to t now next step is this id is reduced to f so t f star f id this is what we got now we are having t star f t star f can be reduced to t that is what happened in the next step t star have f has been reduced to t and next we are going to have this t is reduced to e this t is reduced to e this is how it is going to generate rightmost derivation in reverse so bottom up parsing is going to reduce the terms in top down parsing we are going to expand the terms and one more important point you have to understand what is meant by handle handle is a substring that matches the body of the production let's take the input id star id this is the input handle is a substring so in the string it is going to be a substring if you take id as a substring that matches the body of the production so id is going to match the f tends to id if you take f tends to id what is the body of this production id so it is going to match the body of the production so that we can reduce that that is what we call it as handle okay with this example you'll get much clarity id star id is, has been considered what's the handle we considered here id1 it is going to reduce id1 to f so next f star id2 what's the handle we have considered here f 
So T, what's the reduction production uh, we have used here? T tends to F. F is reduced to T. T star ID2 has been remained. What's the handle we have considered here? ID2 is considered as the handle. ID2 is reduced to F. That's why we used this production. Now what's the T star F? What's the handle we have considered here? See here. This is the point. T star F. T star F is considered as handle. Because this is going ID. Uh, handle is a substring. That is going to be reduced that match the left hand side production that match the body of the production t star f that match the body of the production this can be reduced to t so t tends to t star f now uh, t tends to t star f what's remaining here t what's the handle here t so t can be reduced to e finally we got the start of start symbol means it is accepted we are going from bottom to top in top down parsing we are going we are going from top to bottom we started from e and derived the input string here we are taking the input string and reduce it to e that is what we are doing in a bottom up parsing and one important point you have to remember here see here we have two options here t star id why we consider the handle as id2 why not consider this t can be reduced to e T can be reduced to E, but we are not going to consider this T to reduce to E. But here, this T is considered as handle to reduce to E. But why we have not considered here? Why we have considered this T as to reduce to E? This is the clarity we needed. In which situations we have to take this to reduce to e in which situations we have to we should not consider t to reduce to e in which situations we have to consider this t to reduce to e this is the clarity we needed how you get that clarity in our next classes we are going to identify the conditions where we have to reduce where we have to do uh, where we have to consider the, this handle where we should not consider this handle that is the point we are going to understand in our coming classes hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section please do subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest update thank you